Okay, guys, um, I wanted to finish this Adle Adle Arrow match uh, earlier, but went to holidays and had a lot of work, and so now I have my arrow shaft. I'm trying to, I'm removing, still removing the bark here. I'm gonna make it thinner, as maybe you can see here, it's thinner. Um, something like half an inch or a third of an inch and here it's well here it's half an inch and I'm going to try to make it much thinner remove the bark then I'll, I'll find a way or see what I can do for the um, the arrow head the um, uh, point the broad head and I'll try to to make a video trying my other level uh, tomorrow, as we will be the 31 of December. So I just want to finish it and upload it just before uh, New Year. So guys, uh, let's see what it's uh, what's going on with that arrow shaft. Okay guys, I've got it pretty straight now. I'm gonna try to work and thinner that part here. Uh, I'm th I think I'm gonna make I'm gonna make it uh, something like two well about two meters long, uh, maybe one met meters eighty or something like that. Uh, maybe I have to just cut here, but first I'm gonna thinner all that part, and maybe I uh, I see what I can do to make it uh, straight and thinner on this part here. This is a little tip I use to use my knife, uh, just the point of my knife and having the most strength I can here. I, if you can see I put the strap around my wrist and just have most Okay guys, uh, the shaft is ready. Now I have to now I have to make the fletching. Um, I was wondering how I can do that as the only feather I was able to find is that one. I've decided to use something I will almost always have have with me in the woods. Uh, it's duct tape, but I wanted to make like folds uh, 
duct tape feathers that I can fetch uh, with something like a small line um, maybe paracord inner, inner strands or something like that so I, I've come up with an idea that is using uh, well I could make that with twigs in the woods but for uh, for ears I'm gonna use skewers like that one bamboo skewers um, to make the spine of the feather so that I can work with uh, a piece of a strand of paracord or something like that around I've just put it in the middle of the duct tape Those screws aren't straight at all. That's not good for what I want to do, but well, anyway. Um, fold it over like so. And normally I should get. Well, this could be suitable for uh, my arrows. I'm gonna shape that, make another one and then put them on the spine uh, on the on the, um, the arrow shaft and use a small piece of wire uh, or in a inner strand of paracord or something like that maybe dental floss um, to attach it around the the shaft okay guys the fletching isn't as easy as I wanted it to be. Uh, I've decided to go with the jute twine, and well, it's hard to keep the feathers in place. Well, but trying to and sewing with the leather needle through. Uh, duct tape isn't really the most pleasant way of doing that but oh, we'll see the result okay the fletching complete this is the result uh, well I'm pretty happy I must say about that now I'm gonna work on the head so, so guys now my fletching is done here you can see my arrow is pretty straight I've straightened it with my uh, heat blower and now as I don't have any uh, flint knapping skills, I'm gonna try to use what I have on my person when I'm outdoors, uh, which means this file to try to make a nice little, uh, how you say, a nice little arrow head with a piece of uh, steel. So. We are gonna see, it may take a long time to do. Okay guys, what I'm gonna use for that is this piece of steel. This is a leftover from when I made uh, one of my knives. Um, this is the piece I'm gonna try to work with and try to make a nice broad head for my Adel Adel arrow. So let's see what, how it's going on.